hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is niara alexis and like the title says today i'm gonna be doing a little valentine's day hair and makeup all the products that i use today i will have them linked down below and if you're interested in a more tutorial style um how i do this hairstyle check down the description bar too i'll have a link down there for a couple videos for how you can style your hair but i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial we're gonna put on some little lo-fi music and let's get into it For my makeup today you guys i'm using a little bit of a different technique this is the viral like hailey bieber kendall jenner makeup artist hack where you put your contour and your blush underneath your foundation i do just have to say though y'all that is not new makeup artists drag queens like anybody that's wearing heavy makeup has been doing that for a literal years um i even have a video i think of me putting up my con contour and concealer underneath my foundation so it's definitely something that's been around for a while but it's very popular right now on tiktok and i will say if you have trouble blending this is probably a technique that you're really gonna like because it does help give you a very blended look all the makeup like i said i will link it down below for you guys so if you have any questions on the products i use make sure you check the description bar first because all the links will be there This is my favorite foundation y'all the fit me dewy and smooth foundation i love it i wore the shade 360 mocha it's available on amazon drugstores wherever but it's definitely a good option if you're going to be wearing your makeup all night if you anticipate having it on for a couple of hours i love this one I 
I did also want to share I am using a new concealer by Lancome, which I'll have linked down below for you guys. It's amazing. I love this concealer. I know I've been stuck on the Too Faced concealer for a super long time, but this one is a go. I'll have it linked down below along with the shade I use. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's really good. It's also a really big applicator. So if you like to do like spot concealing for like day-to-day -day makeup versus like wearing a full face of foundation, it's perfect for that.
For eyeshadow today, I am using the Supreme Mauve's eyeshadow palette from Artist Contour. It's very pinky, very sparkly, but I do like this palette because it also has a good amount of neutrals in there too. So I'll link all of the, well, I'll have the link to the eyeshadow palette down below, but I'll also list and order the shades that I use so that you could follow this tutorial if you would like to. They should be popping up on the screen here, editing. Make sure you put that in, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah. I really like this palette. I will say this eyeshadow look isn't that much different from my normal eyeshadow look. It's very matted, very subdued, but I put a little bit of sparkle on my lid since it's a little festive moment for Valentine's Day. And you guys always ask me about my lip combo. This is my favorite right now. This is the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil, which is my ride or die. I pick it up every single time. And then this is actually a Fashion Nova lipstick from their Nova Beauty line. It's called Cutie. It's the perfect pinky shade without being too pink, as you can see. And then this is the Pat McGrath Lip Glass in the shade Peach Perversion. When you let your hair sit like this after you've curled it, I usually like to let my hair sit for like 30 or so minutes. The longer you let it sit, the better. So if you're going out for the night, let that hair sit for like a full hour, girl. So those curls and that body and that bounce last all night. So this is how our hair and makeup turned out. If you want to see like a full like talk through tutorial of how I style my hair like this, I'll link it down below. I'll also link all the products I used in my hair down below and all the products that I used on my face down below too. But I think this is a pretty look for Valentine's Day if you were trying to do like something, you know, soft. This is, I will say, it's not outside the norm for me. I did use a little bit more like pinky or mauve -er tones on my eyes because I'm very basic beige, sometimes no eyeshadow girl. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.